So my mother came to America to help my brother babysit. Uh, this morning, she saw my brother cooking and cleaning the dishes and all those kind of stuff. Now my mother is giving my brother's wife attitude. She called me and she was complaining. Hey, son John, hey, I've seen it all. Just imagine my son that I raised, I carry for nine months, that sucked my breast. He's now a woman in his own house. He's cleaning, washing dishes, and doing other things. He's now a maid in his own house. I can't see this. I can't withstand this thing anymore. I have, this is an abomination. I cannot be seeing this abomination anymore. Your brother is under spell. Your brother is under voodoo. She was just talking, 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 and she asked me that she's, I should come and pick her to my own house. <laughs> I told my brother, listen, whatever you are seeing in my brother's house is a pro. In my own house, what you see is a pro mass. Because for me, I do all those things. <laughs> and I also change pampas. <laughs> I also change pampas. So that is, that is how we survive here. You get the point in that. There is no, I'm a man, I'm a this, I'm a African king. No. Everybody, we've, we've all kept our chieftaincy somewhere in our closet. For we to survive here. Any man you see in America that is happy does that. If you see any man that is genuinely happy in his marriage or relationship, it, it helps his wife. You get the point in our so my, <laughs> my mom my mom is such African. <laughs> she thought she thought it's an <laughs> she thought my brother was under spell. No, you get the point in our that is how we survive. That is how we survive. <laughs> it's a survival of the fittest. You get the point now. Don't come to my house. <laughs>